Hey Warriors, it's Coach JV from the 3T Warrior Academy. Is it truly possible to create a brand new life? Now I've been doing this for the last 15 years studying the power of the subconscious mind and the deep levels that the subconscious mind can take us to in either shaping a positive reality or a disastrous reality. And the fact is every single day you wake up you have a choice. Before we kick off, my name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. You can follow me on my podcast, Coach JV Podcast, Instagram, Coach JV underscore. You got TikTok, Coach JV underscore, and then of course Facebook, uh, the Three T Warrior Academy. So we are here to help you learn and grow. And what I want to do today is I want to have you hear from an amazing doctor who has taught me so much throughout my journey. And down below, I'm going to actually attach this video here and the link to Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe Dispenza is a remarkable human being who has brought the science, religion, thought, uh, manifestation, energy all together in magnetism most of all. Now, a lot of you know my journey. It started with the secret after attempted suicide on December 18, 2006. When I woke up from an attempted suicide, I was recommended the book called The Secret. Now, The Secret helped me identify that everything was a cause and effect, that everything I was thinking about became my reality, that everything that was happening within my current reality to include my personal suicide that I went through was caused by me. Now, this is the biggest thing that people struggle to accept when I say it on TikTok, on my podcast, people tune out right when I say that. That I say to people that everything is happening for you, not to you. That everything in your timeline is a result of the daily thoughts, actions, and behaviors that you do that's causing the paradigm. So I wanted to show this short clip of Dr. Joe Dispenza explaining how you start to shape and mold your reality and how starting today starting right now, right after you get off this video, how you can start to change at a vibrational level and shape the reality around you. Now, I'm going to share with you, this is not easy. The reason why is because the way we live within the world, especially the Western world, is there's so much distraction, media, uh, social media. And the thing is, you're being fed all this stuff at a rapid, rapid pace. We went from having rotary phones to beepers to cell phones. Now you have a computer on your phone that's attached to your hip at all times. Everywhere you go, there's dopamine, there's guidance, there's direction, there's programming. So it's very, very challenging. But once you understand that you have control, you can take all these things and live within a tech technologically advanced world and be remarkable, remarkable human being that you are. So let's hear from Dr. Joe Dispenza. Let's hear this clip. And then what we'll do is we'll recap on the clip and talk a little bit more about it. I highly recommend you visit Dr. Joe Dispenza. He has absolutely changed my life. Without further ado, Dr. Joe Dispenza. You'd have to change your personality, which means you'd have to start thinking about what you've been thinking about and change it. You'd have to become aware of your unconscious habits and behaviors and even what you say and modify them. And then you'd have to look at those emotions that keep you anchored to the past and decide if those emotions belong in your future. So most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality and it doesn't work. We literally have to become someone else. In other words, thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. And how you think and how you feel creates a state of being. So most people have experiences in their life that brand them emotionally. They feel fear. They feel anger. They feel bitterness. They feel frustration. They feel insecurity. And those emotions then become part of their identity. So once they think certain thoughts that turn on certain circuits in their brain that are equal to their insecurity and then they feel insecure. The moment they feel insecure, they think more insecure thoughts, which makes more chemicals for them to feel insecure. And the repetition of that cycle over time conditions the body to subconsciously become the mind of insecurity. So then the person says, I am insecure. And whenever you say, I am anything, you're commanding your mind and body towards a destiny. So then most people's biology is, for the most part, their past. And so if you're not being defined by the vision of the future, some new possibility in your life, you're only left with the old circuitry in your brain and the old emotions of the past. So the question then is, can you believe in a future that you can't see or experience with your senses yet, but you've thought about enough times in your mind 
that your brain is literally changed to look like the experience has already occurred. Now, the latest research in neuroscience says you can change your brain just by thinking. So then, as you begin to think about a new possibility, and your brain begins to fire in new sequences and new patterns and new combinations, and you... So let's pause right there. I wrote some notes. I'd like to go a little bit deeper into this. So he said, how you think about how you feel becomes your being, right? So how you think is how you feel, which becomes your being. Another thing he said is, I am insecure. If you've been in my program, I talk about the great I am all the time. What you put behind the words I am becomes your absolute truth. He explained it at a physiological level. As you speak those words into existence, your body is responding. The subconscious mind responds as if it's present right now. Your subconscious mind has no idea if the words you are speaking are real or fake. Another thing, your biology is your past. So if you constantly keep telling the stories of the past, how you were uh, in a bad situation, your ex did this, your ex did that, your ex cheated on, you literally are bringing that experience into your present moment and you're thinking about it and what it's doing is it's bringing the past and shaping the future because like he said, you are now shaping and molding the feeling within that moment and that feeling and moment is now going to perpetuate into the next day. The average human has about 12,000 to 70,000 thoughts a day. Most of the thoughts are negative and most of the thoughts are from the day before. That's why we follow the same cyclic patterns. That's why people will gain some money, maybe a big um, stimulus check or a tax check. They'll pay off their debt and they'll be right back in debt because they didn't change the biology from their past. So the same patterns repeat themselves. Let's continue. You begin to plan your behaviors and you begin to review in your mind, mentally rehearse who you're going to be in your life. The mere action of mental rehearsal begins to install the neurological circuits in your brain. Now your brain is no longer a record of the past. Now it's in fact a map to the future. And if you were then to begin to emotionally embrace your future before it's made manifest, in other words, you're not waiting for your healing to feel wholeness. You're not waiting for your new relationship to feel love. You're not waiting for the mystical moment to feel awe. You're not waiting for your success to feel empowered. That's the old model of reality, of cause and effect. In other words, the materialist, the person who's waiting for their wealth to come to feel abundance, uh, they're living by that model of cause and effect. But the quantum model is about causing an effect, which means you begin to experience your own worthiness and your abundance before it occurs. Okay, so I'm going to pause right there. I'm going to click the, uh, attach the link down below for the rest of the video. There's so many great videos on Dr. Joe Dispenza podcast. Now, I want to recap just a moment on this. You're rehearsing your future. You're mapping the future. You're not waiting for the million dollars to feel abundant. You already feel abundant within the present moment. So I always like to bring things back to personal stories and personal narratives, right? Because it's easy to relate. So 15 years ago, like I said, I woke up from an attempted suicide. And the only choice I had was to change the physical paradigm through my mind. Now, if you looked at the physicality and reality, what I was facing, negative money in my account, buried in debt, had lost a business, couldn't take care of my three-year-old daughter, was getting evicted from my apartment. I was in a really tough worldly or physical reality situation. But the secret taught me to change internally. And so what I did is I changed the great I am. I had no idea the journey that I was about to face on. Now, maybe it's because I went through tragedy and I had no other choice. I was on my back looking up. So what I decided to do is say, I am great. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am beautiful. And I used to say it over and over and over again. And I would start to feel as if it already existed within my heart and mind. And I didn't even know what I was doing at that point. Now I'm a professional at it. I'm an expert at subconscious mind programming. I already know I have eight figures. I feel it. I've lived in the house. I've helped the people. I've provided freedom for my warriors over and over again in my mind. But then I didn't know. And so what was happening is I was mapping and shaping a future that didn't exist within the physical reality. Now here's the way I explained it. I just did an interview on a podcast today. The way that I explained it was, as I had a conversation with somebody about a month ago, and they were like, oh, manifestation, mumbo jumbo, <clears throat> you know, you're taking religion out of constant. I said, listen, I said, let me ask you a question. 
how secure do you feel about your future? Oh, with the COVID, ah, you know, all this stuff going on. And uh, they were so worried about their future. I said, pause for a moment. If you're worried about your future, isn't that a thought that's changing the physicality or the physical uh, response in your body at a cellular level? Because you feel worried and it makes you sick to your stomach. Well, yeah, of course, you know, my kid. I said, but isn't that the exact same thing? I'm focused on mapping out my new reality by the thoughts connected with the heart and already feeling the eight figures and the freedom for everybody around me. Isn't that the exact same thing as you seeing you not being able to take care of your daughter or create a legacy and worrying about your 401k in the future? It's the exact same thing. One's positive, one's negative. So I wanna ask you today, warriors, what are you thinking about? Are you worried about yesterday? Are you focused on things that happened a long time ago? Are you holding on to things that aren't gonna benefit you? Manifestation is real, Warriors. You can't dispute it. The brain works in a very, very powerful way. So at this moment in time, no matter what religion you are, no matter what your belief system is, no matter how you grew up, you can start to shape and mold your reality today, Warriors. So today's the day we do it. Today you start speaking positive. So what are some tangible things you can do? On a daily basis, right when you wake up, start saying positive things. I am great, I am healthy, I am wealthy. Before you start your day, write down gratitude. I am grateful for the house that I live in. I'm grateful for the fluid that I drink today. I'm grateful for the, the car that I get to drive. No matter how much you don't like that car, you need to learn to love it because it got you from point A to point B because by disrespecting the things you have, is not gonna get you what you want. By appreciating the things you want, it changes the internal vibration and it attracts the very things that you want to achieve. So if you're driving a Honda and you want a Lamborghini, treat it like a Lamborghini. Clean it like a Lamborghini. Act like it's a Lamborghini. Drive it like it's a Lamborghini. Look at it like it's a Lamborghini. It will start to feel the internal vibration and you will get what you want. Excuse me. This is a very powerful way to live your life, Warriors. <clears throat> so don't follow the narrative of you don't have control of your life. If you can't change the future, yes, you can, Warriors, and it starts today. So I'm going to do more videos like this, just really getting deeper. Some of my favorite people, like The Secret, Bob Proctor, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Dr. Bruce Lipton. These are people who are changing the game. Eckhart Tolle. So I'm going to start to bring the people that changed my life to you guys and share my perspective and a real world solve on how I did it. I've been living this for 15 years. That's how I've lost my money three times, been divorced twice, and been able to bounce back every single time. Warriors, manifestation is real. You have the key in your hand. Let's get to work. Let's change the world. Let's create freedom for every single person around us. If you're interested in joining my private warrior academy, go to my Instagram page at coachjv underscore. DM me the word freedom is academy where we teach mind, body, immunity, and generational wealth building. Let's catch you on the other side. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Warriors, rise.